Hello everybody, this is Mana Trash 11 and welcome back to my let's play of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We just got our powers from the Great Fairy and the Great Fairy said she knows the, the astronomer knows Skull Kit, so we need to go to the observatory. And then she says that we don't even have three days left. And all through this cycle, Tattle will keep on giving you little hints. And every time she will say, whoa, we don't even have how many days left. On the first day, it'll be three days, obviously. On the second day, it'll be two. And then the last one, she'll be like, we don't have a day left. So don't mess with me. Only if you can pop that. I'm going to pop that balloon with my blow gun. So pop the balloon with a bubble. Pew, when he looks around. And go talk to him. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. A Deku scrub? Okay, De I'm awesome. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory at such a time. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting in that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Come on. I need to get that observatory so I can, like, figure out about the Skull Kid and, like, murder him. <laughs> if you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Dude, you were late, and then you just sit down because you're lazy. I bet we're going to catch you first because you're lazy. And this is actually, I go to get him, and I end up leaving. And I was like, what? Yes, that it will happen to you sometimes. So I just... Only four left. The music sounds so weird, sped up. And then he was glitching out against the wall there, so it was easy to get him. And then you want to go over here. To East Galak Town. And there's a guy who you have to give the code to. And up here, there's a guy with chicken. You can jump down. Shoot him with your bubble. What? I missed. Okay. Shoot him with your bubble and then get him. There are only two left. And I know where they are. And. Okay. So use this deck of flower. Go in the deck of flower. Got to spin. Crazy scrub. He's up here. And use your bubble. And get him. Oh, you caught me. Now there's only one left. So now you want to go to West Clock Town. Which is right across over here. And he will be up here by the post office. West Lucky. Yep. And he's pretty easy to get. Oh, no way, you finally got me. Finally, that didn't take me that long at all. You're pretty good for a Deku Scrub. Because Deku Scrubs are amazing. If only you were human. I am human! And I can give you the bomber's notebook and make you a member. I am human, just just not right now. What do you guys think? Get away! No Scrubs! I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we regret it. I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can tell you only once, so play close, play close attention. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. The code is, they're turning around. Oh my gosh. This is like the easiest code I've ever got. The code is 54132. I think the only easier code I've ever gotten was 12534. And this is just that, basically, except for a little bit different. So now, we're going to go over that to that kid who is wearing the yellow hat, and we're going to tell him the code. If you want to pass here, you say the code, it goes code. Five, four, one, two, three, two. Two. And that's right, if you know the code, then you remember it, right? Okay, here we go. So then we just go on into the place. There's lots of cool stuff and a telescope and, uh, yeah, Bomber Secret Society and Just Forever. So we're going in. Uh, walking, walking, I'm boring, I'm so boring. I've been recording episodes for, like, uh, since I have to do post-commentary because of, um, my computer is very slow, so if I record my commentary at the same time as I record my videos, it messes up. So I have to record post commentary, and I recorded like nine episodes, so that and they're all like ten minutes long. Some of them are longer, so that's like ninety minutes plus the extra time, which I think was about five minutes. So ninety-five minutes, which is like an hour and a half, basically. 
of recording, and then I have to do it all again. Plus, some I had some audio syncing video issues with the first two videos, so I had to redo that. And then I had to fast forward some of these videos because they would have gone over the time limit. And oh, it's just so much work. Uh, so I'm sorry if I seem a little dead because it's like 10 and 28 at night, and I'm like hurrying, hurrying, hurrying because my mom's gonna be home soon. And I don't want to record when she's home and. I just want to put these out on Wednesday, and I want to record more before I put them out on Wednesday, so if I ever don't want to take videos for a while, I can just have some that are already finished. I want to be ahead and stuff. Yeah, and all that greatness. I will gaze into the telescope. So, just zoom into the top of the clock, the, the, of the clock tower, and you'll see the Skull Kid, and you will look up at the moon, so that you... This is a cutscene, you don't actually have to do anything goes up to the moon. The moon cries out a fiery bluish in the inside tier and smashes down over there. And then Skull Kid is going to be a jerk and he's going to smack his butt at us because he's obviously a monkey on the inside. And there will be other stuff that we could do using the telescope later, but that doesn't apply right now. Perhaps another moon stair is falling nearby. Go through the door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. He's magical! The only way up there is through the clock door that opens on the eve of the carnival. Cause he's magical! See that mask he's got on? He is like, not good magic either. It's like, evil, terrifying horror music. Magic, I mean, not music. Psh, what am I talking about? Crazy, crazy, crazy child. Okay, so now we'll go back down the stairs. There's a uh, some backtracking. No, oh, and those pots will always have I mean, two of them will have five rupees, so you can get ten rupees from there. And we are going and going back then. Alright, so we know where Skull Kid is. Let's go ask around Clock Tower. Maybe we'll learn something. Whoa, look at the time! We only have three days left! Oh my god! We totally haven't known that for like an episode for like an episode and a half already. God, tattle. <sighs> so, if you guys have any like suggestions for how I could improve my commentary, I would actually really like feedback. You know, you guys just rate, comment, subscribe. The only reason I do this is, well, number one, because I love video games and I love all this stuff. Zelda, I love it so much, but I always want to play for my family, but they don't care. They don't care, so I just, I, the only reason I will get popular, if I do get popular, but, um, it's because of my fans, and I know, oh, I probably don't have any right now as of recording, but if I do have lots of fans by the time, like, in a while, if you, this goes out, like, maybe a year after or something, then it's all because of you guys that I do this. So, uh, if you've got a moon steer, my wife would really love it, and uh, I was just like having a big speech there. And if you give him a moon steer, he says he'll give you his spot Deku flower included. Sorry, my shoulder really hurts. Ah, oh, that stone, you must hand it over to me! Maybe. In exchange, I'll give you the spot here, the Deku flower included, yes? Maybe. Okay, yeah. You got the land title deed. Really helped me out. Now I have a perfect souvenir for my wife. She has it set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among deck scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. What? I didn't know that. Explain that. I already knew that. I didn't. Just ass making assumptions here. I'm just with my mic for a second to take a drink of my lovely milk. Okay, I'm done sipping my milk. And... Oh, I just barely dodged. That dog is gonna... Whee! So up we go and go over here and... What? What's that shining, shimmering thing? Well... You got a piece of heart! Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a new heart container! Each container you put together will increase the amount of life energy you can have. Woohoo! So that is our first. 
Okay, everybody, thank you for watching The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Next time, we will do some stuff and some things. Thank you for watching, everybody. Rate, comment, subscribe. Goodbye. Goodbye.